Hello Guardians, this is Crazy Night Hero. Sorry I'm sick by the way, but uh, Bungie just released this new trailer for Age of Triumph. Let's watch it. Peggy 16. The greatest champions of the darkness have stood against you and been defeated. Face them once more. Teach them fear. Me personally, I think this is one of the coolest trailers that they've ever released, and there's not too much we can grab from it, but let's go to this frame in particular that I think is very interesting. This is Crota's end of the part where you're done with the bridge and then the door opens and then you have to head through that shrieker tunner, tunnel, but it looks very different, like they, those statues were never there before. So these statues remind me of the King's Fall raid, where to start the raid you have to like slam all those uh, orbs into the statues and then it powers up the portal and whatnot. So I'm wondering if they pretty much took that encounter and threw it in the bridge part to try and fix the bugginess of the bridge or maybe they just threw these statues in for ambiance. So it could be a lot of things actually. Now personally I think they might just be cosmetic but what if they weren't cosmetic? What if they took the mechanics from the King's Fall raid and you had to slam some orbs into those statues to activate them properly, like to open the door and stuff. So maybe the way they could change the encounter is you, you form the bridge and everything just fine, and then you, like when the sword bearer spawns in, instead of spawning his sword, maybe he will drop an orb, like from King's Fall, and then you carry that orb, and that's the item you have to carry to cross the bridge, like the sword, but then I think if they were to change it, I think they were would get rid of the other knight on the other side, so you wouldn't have to worry about killing them. And then I think you would have to slam your orb into the statues. And there's actually a lot of these statues over there, so maybe they're just cosmetic. But if they were to do this simple mechanic that they could easily recycle, then it would prevent a lot of cheesiness. Like, you couldn't just, like send one guy over and then just kill off your team or whatever like how people do because then if the orbs spawn on the other side then you would need more orbs than just the one you would get from the first guy you send over if that makes any sense so maybe they could do that also now that i think about it more it would be an orb so you wouldn't be able to swing across like the orb doesn't have any mechanic like that and i think it would be pretty cool if they did that so summed up it would pretty much be the uh, King's Fall entrance where you gotta like slam all the things and stuff but instead of having like to like deal with doors and stuff you just have people stand on plates to keep the bridge up on either side so I think that would be really cool I would be really happy to see that but we'll just have to wait and see other than that though I can't really find anything interesting but this trailer is just awesome and it kind of gave me the sense that like Destiny's ending like it it's been a great time, like this game is like my favorite, like hands down, and it's it's just gonna be crazy when like Destiny 2 comes out or anything and we just we just put this game on the shelf. But uh it'd be a crazy moment. It's been awesome uh having this YouTube channel and stuff, being able to cover content on this awesome of a game. And uh yeah. 
But anyways, talking about Destiny 2, here is some big news. Right here is a leaked poster of Destiny 2. It looks absolutely amazing. Looks like it more ha it has more of a, a serious and more realistic vibe with the Guardians not wearing their helmets. And uh, we can also see that the title is just simply Destiny 2. That's pretty cool. And in the top right corner, there's a blue tag right there stating that uh, that's actually like the tag they put on stuff to symbolize that there are PlayStation exclusive items. So rip Xbox players. And also right beneath that, it is the date of release, which is September 8th, or at least that's what they're aiming for. Then we can see on the very bottom, but uh, it's in Italian, but it's talking about a beta. A beta. I'm so excited. We don't know how the beta will be accessible, like if you have to pre-order or anything, but there's a beta, and if you do have to pre-order it, I'm doing it, so I'm excited. Okay, now let's actually talk about what we see. Well, this totally looks like the last city, like the platform they're standing on that looks like the wall, and that red thing could be just like some torn up banner kind of blowing in the wind and uh, some fog for ambiance. But uh, it looks like these guys got caught off guard and they didn't even have time to put their helmets on and they're just flying into battle. And uh, that warlock on the right is holding a Suro shotgun. Never seen anything like that before, so that looks amazing. Weapon foundries are continuing, and it looks like the Titan has an Omelon auto rifle. I could be mistaken. And then, I don't know if it's just me, but the Hunter on the left looks like they're holding Hawkmoon, but that just might be me. And then another hint we have for this being the last city is they don't, they're don't. they not wearing helmets, so they're on a planet with re breathable air. It does look like Earth. There's a city, and there's like a ship going by, so it, it's inhabited. And then we get a little hint of the Traveler right by the two. That little bit is the Traveler. So, yeah. So, what we know of Destiny 2 thus far, pretty much. If this post is real, well then, everything I just explained. And uh, they'll be attacking probably the Cabal that's invading the city based on all the other leaks that I'm sure you've heard about. So pretty intense stuff. I'm super duper excited. Also in Destiny news, we have a new Bungie blog post. So if you go to www.bungie.net, you will be met with this amazing picture. Like this is just so cool. And if you click on that, you'll be directed and taken to a page detailing a lot of things about Age of Triumph, like pretty much everything we know but it's a really nice place to visit with a ton of cool pictures, so you should check that out. But anyways, Guardians, I hope you have a great day, and uh, hopefully this like nasally voice can go away pretty soon, and uh, hope for the future, Guardians. Hopefully Destiny 2 will be great and everything, but I hope you guys have a good day, and uh, I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.